Hello people, this is Anna from Marketsmith India and today's topic of discussion is chart patterns. Time for disclaimer, the content in this presentation should not be considered as a recommendation to buy or sell a security. All information is intended for educational purposes only and in no way should be considered investment advice. In this session, we are going to discuss everything about chart patterns from importance of technical analysis, to what are chart patterns, why are they necessary and their types. So let's begin with the importance of technical analysis. Once we are done analyzing company's fundamentals, we can use technical analysis to improve the timing of our buy and sell decisions so that we can manage the risk better. Technical analysis using chart patterns signal when a stock is setting up for a gain or even a potential big run. It also hints when a stock has stopped and is not likely to go higher. Now what are base patterns? After the stock has rallied for some time, it may pull back and consolidate for a while. This area of price consolidation is known as base or chart patterns. This happens when some large investors sell their shares to book profit after a run-up. Now why are they even necessary? Each base is important to look at since this is a typical breather a stock takes before it restarts its upward journey. The base is an opportunity for a stock to regain its strength and launch the next stage of its climb. They are precursors to a stock's next big move. Bases and the related buy points help us to identify the best time to get into a stock so as to get optimal returns in the least amount of time. Used properly in conjunction with fundamental considerations such as sales, earnings and host of other factors, these can be used as optimal entry points to reduce risk and still leave plenty of room for decent profits. There are several types of base patterns, but let's look at the three most common and the most profitable patterns. Those are cup with handle base, cup without handle base, flat base and double bottom base. Now let's look at them one by one in detail. Cup with handle base. Winning stocks often start their big runs by forming this pattern. It resembles a teacup when viewed from the side. To form a proper chart pattern, stocks should have had a prior uptrend of at least 30% with strong relative strength and volumes. The depth of the base, that is, the correction observed during the consolidation period should be 12% to 33%. However, in a severe bear market, stock might correct up to 40 to 50%, but if one stock corrects 35%, and the other corrects 20%, all else being equal, the stock that corrected less, that is 20%, could be forming a stronger base. The minimum length for the cup is 7 weeks, but some can last much longer, up to year or even more. However, most of them last for 3 months to 6 months. Now coming on to handle. The handle is a mild pullback on relatively low volume to shake out weaker holders who are not committed to hold the stock over the long term. Handle should last for more than 1-2 to two weeks. Depth or correction in handle should be 8% to 12% and it should be forming in the upper half of the base and above 50 DMA. A sharp decline of more than 12% on higher volumes could indicate a more serious sell-off that might prevent the stock from launching a successful move. Ideal buy point is the most recent resistance level that is the high point of the handle and the ideal buy range is 5% from the top of handle. The stock should cross this resistance level with at least 40-50% to 50 above average volumes. For best results, try to buy as close to the ideal buy point as possible. Now let's have a look at one example of cup with handle base. This is the weekly chart of Pfizer. You can see the stock forming a cup and handle base. 
If bought correctly on the ideal buy point, this could have given you the gain of 60% in 29 weeks. Now the next pattern is cup without handle base. It's a variation of cup and handle pattern. As the name implies, it's essentially the same except it does not have a handle. All the attributes except for the buy point are identical. That is a prior rally of 30% with strong relative strength and volumes, depth or correction of 12% to 33% and the base duration ranging from 7 weeks to 65 weeks long. The buy point in a cupped shape base is the peak on the left side of the cup which was the most recent area of resistance. Now let's have a look at an example of cup without handle base. This is the weekly chart of Sun Pharmaceutical Industries. This is the small cup that the stock formed and gave a huge returns of 125% in 88 weeks after the breakout. Our next pattern is double bottom base. This looks like a lopsided W. This often occurs when the market is choppy and volatile and that is reflected in the shape. It is usually important that the second bottom of W matches the price low of first bottom or clearly undercuts it by one or two points thereby creating a shakeout of weaker investors. Failure to undercut may create a faulty and more failure prone base. The breakout typically occurs when the overall market has also bounced back from a correction into a new uptrend. This pattern can also set the stage for huge price gains like other two patterns discussed previously. The depth of the base or the correction should be ranging from 12% to 33%. Duration of the base should be 7 weeks to 65 weeks long. Peak in the middle of W should form in the upper half of the base and should be below the left side peak. Like all other bases, buy point is when the stock crosses the most recent area of resistance that is the peak in the middle of the W with at least volumes of 40 to 50 percent above average and the buying range is up to 5% above the ideal buy point. This is an example of double bottom base pattern. This is a daily chart of Cupid. Here we can clearly see the formation of W. And we can also see that the stock is breaking out of this base with huge volumes. Thereafter, the stock gained 290% in 23 weeks from the buy point. Now let's have a look at our last and another rewarding structure, flat base. This is usually a second stage base that occurs after a stock has advanced 20% or more of a cup with handle or other bases. This can offer another opportunity to start a new position or add shares to an existing one. It has milder correction than the other two bases discussed previously and also has a shorter time frame than them. The flat base moves straight sideways in a fairly tight price range for at least 5-6 to six weeks and does not correct for more than 10% to 15%. That may mean institutional investors who have to buy tens of thousands of shares or even more to establish their large positions are quietly buying within a certain price range. That's how they increase their holdings without significantly driving up their average cost per share. Like other patterns, flat bases also have a way of shedding weaker shareholders. Instead of a sharper sell-off like in other bases, the flat base shakeout is more of a slow grind. That is, the weaker, less committed investors just get worn out by the indecisive and sideways actions. They eventually lose patience and sell. Ideal buy point is when the stock crosses the most recent area of resistance that is the peak at the starting of the base. Buying range is up to 5% above the ideal buy point. 
volume on the day of breakout should be at least 40 to 50 percent above average always buy as close as possible to the ideal buy point let's have a look at an example of flat base this is the weekly chart of amara raj batteries here's the flat base that the stock has formed and after crossing the resistance level the stock generated 55% return in 24 weeks from the buy point. That's all from us today. Hope you liked the video. Please write us back if you have any queries and thank you for watching this video.